So I'm going to see if I can make this nasty old thing look cool and sound great. Hardware has been removed, except for the silly uh, sign, and uh, is ready to be sanded. Okay, so I just took the logo off, and it's time for some sanding. All sanded down and ready for some hammering. I'm going to use a regular hammer at first, and then I'm going to go get a uh, ball peen hammer um, from my father, uh, probably tomorrow. All hand hammered. I think that's probably enough. And sanded. And I sanded all of the lug holders. All that stuff you see on the floor came off the drum. So I made a little form here to go under my vice grip. And then I put my drum on and I hammered it. I didn't have a ball peen hammer. So I used this guy and I went this way and then I went this way all the way around, both top and bottom. And that's what I got. So the next step will be to paint it. Now I forgot to do it beforehand, so I apologize, but the note is a little bit lower, I assume. All right, so I used the ball peen hammer to uh, add to the nostalgia a little bit. And here's what it sounds like so far. Pitch is a little bit lower, I believe. And we're about to add some patina to it. So Natalie is doing the patina work here. So, all done? Yep, done. Now what? Uh, then we're just gonna use this little thing, a vintage bar, and um, rub it off so it's just black in the cracks. When do we do that? Uh, just in a couple of minutes when it dries. Okay. Yep. All right, I'm gonna start rubbing it off um, with this thing. So, there you go. So you painted it to rub it off, huh? Uh-huh. Yep, fresh patina. That's ridic ridiculous. <laughs> Ridunculous. Yeah. All done, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the finished drum. I kind of left it tuned a little bit loose. I cranked it a little bit tighter and added the muffler a little bit. <laughs> 